Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on how to use the TI Inspire CX2 to calculate mean, standard deviation, quartiles and produce a box plot. We have the keypad from the Inspire represented on the left hand side here. In the middle we have a representation of the screen, that's the screen from the calculator. And on the right hand side here we have the question. We're going to use the free space underneath for any working out or any calculator instruction. So let's take a look at the question. The number of bags of vegetable crisps sold in a shop per day were recorded over a two week period. And the results are as follows. And what we need to do for part A, calculate the mean, standard deviation and interquartile range of the data, and then B, produce a box plot. So the first thing we need to do is to input our data. We need to navigate to add list and spreadsheet we're going to enter the data that we've got here as a list so that we can then find out the summary statistics for that list so select add lists and spreadsheet and that will open up a document for us essentially it's set out like a spreadsheet and we're just going to use the first column to input our data so that's going to be the first thing to do so start inputting your data 624 and so on and press enter each time it should automatically scroll down to the next cell below i'm just going to speed this up a little bit here to save us some time you take your time and make sure that you input that accurately so once we've inputted the data just double check here we've got 14 entries well we're looking at a two week period so that's 14 days so that's looking good now we're going to find some summary statistics so we need to go to menu and then if we scroll down here to statistics and press right and we want statistical calculations so stat calculations and then we've got different relationships between the variables we've just got one variable the number of crisps sold per day so we're just going to choose one one variable or press enter and we've only got one list representing that here so we're just going to press enter again just to select that's okay you can use the navigation pad to select okay if you prefer now let's have a look at this page so uh, the list for our variable it's got that down as list a uh, which is correct so we want the list from column a to be able to produce our summary statistics frequency list well that's just if we have a frequency table or frequency distribution well, we've just got a list of numbers there so the frequency of each number is going to be one each number occurs one time and scrolling down here the results that we're going to get we're just going to paste them in column b because that's the next available column for us it's been filled in by default so we will just leave it as that so let's just press enter to confirm this and here you can see then column B and indeed column C has been populated with some summary statistics for us and we can navigate up and down to take a look at these so let's see if we can answer the question what do we need well we need the mean so that's represented here by X bar so the mean is 38.64 to two decimal places we've got some other summary stats here we also want the standard deviation we've got the sample deviation here's SX and uh, we've also got the standard deviation sigma x we're going to go for sigma x in this case so 25.69 to two decimal places it's also asked us for the interquartile range let's continue to scroll down and you can see here that we've got three bits of information in the middle here quarter one median which is quarter two and quarter three so 26 33.5 as a median and 44 Interquartile range is the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So Q3 minus Q1. So that's 44 minus 26. We're going to have an interquartile range there of 18. So IQR is going to be 18. And so we've answered part A. So for part B, we're going to produce a box plot. And we've already got the data inputted. What we need to do just to help the calculator out here is just to label column A, just to identify it as that being the data that we're going to use when we produce our box plot. So I'm going to navigate right up to the top of col column A. And I'm just going to label that A. And we can give it a name. We could, we could have gone for bags or something like that to, to represent bags sold. I'm just going to use A on there. And that will just, we'll just use that as a reference for the calculator. So if we go back to the home page, home page or on, and then what we want to do is to produce another sheet, another document, 
that's for data and statistics. So data and statistics, which is represented by the bar graph there. So select that one. And you can see that's already been populated there with our results from A, because we labeled it A. Navigate down to click to add variable or use the touchpad. And if we click on that, we can see that we can choose A. So the column that we labeled as A or the data that we labeled as A. So just press enter. It should reorganize itself into a dot plot. So the data has been organized into a dot plot there showing the spread of data. We're just going to change that to a box plot. So if we press menu, plot type at the top there, option one, so press right. And we've got a few different choices. So we're just going to choose two box plot and press enter. And then it should automatically realign as a box plot. And here it is. So we've got a box plot represented there. You can see the three quartiles in the box. It's also identified some outliers for us as well. So some outliers that looks like it's going to be 78 and 105. You, you can use the touchpad to identify those if you weren't sure, but they are the two highest values and they're quite exceptionally high compared to the other results. So the calculator has put those in as outliers on there. So there we go, how we can produce summary statistics including mean, standard deviation and interquartile range using a list of values and also produce a box plot as well on the TI Inspire CX2. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.